YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back today. What I'm doing, like a mid-phase. So I got a mid-phase today. I know, been gone a minute. You know, you know, you know. Things happen. Life get busy, all that good type of stuff. And, you know, uh, sometimes you, you look for motivation in doing some of these things. You can be doing this stuff for so long to where... You got to find a little motivation, so I ventured out, did a couple other things, but, you know, I'm going to try to drop some videos on the regular. I know y'all still want them, I, and I'm still dedicated to it, you know, I'm just trying to find my groove back again. But anyway, so what we're going to do right here, we're going to bring up our first guideline, and we're going to go up almost midway, right, or right at midway, and I like to give myself space and room to fade right now right here i'm using the uh x evo the tremors by gamma uh with the gold blade the blade is serious right i got a discount code also if you're interested in buying the blade where you can get 10 percent off all you gotta do is type in mr outliner in the code for the promo display right just do that and then also, so, um, like I said, we're just going to work our way around the head, make sure we get the guideline even. Then after we get that done, we want to come with, right here I got the one and a half guard. So we're going to use the one and a half guard. I want to keep it thick. I want y'all to be able to see the waves. Uh, he's kind of thinning a little bit in the front, in the corners right here on the right side. You see that? It's kind of thin, but we're going to work with it. We're going to put enhancements on it. We're going to make it pop. So the lower you cut it, the worse it's going to be, right, in my opinion. So I like to, like I said, I like to keep it thick. That same one and a half guard I was using, I'm about to make my highest guideline with that, right? And I'm doing that because I don't want my fade to go any higher than that. And also, I want you to see the difference in between the guidelines. So the highest guideline to the bottom guideline. You see that right there? Right, that's what we're doing. We got it all the way up so to the edge to where we can see it. Now, once we're done with that, you can see your two guidelines. You see the top and you see the bottom, right? The highest guideline and the lowest guideline. See that in between. So now we want to do it like an in-between or I guess right here I'm deciding to take off, try to take away the bottom guideline. But while I'm doing that, I'm trying to show you three levels, right? So we got the bottom guideline, and now I'm going up midway to make the middle guideline, and then you have the highest guideline, right? So I did this for a reason. Normally I don't do that, but I did it as a visual so you can understand how to do this type of haircut, right? To give yourself space so you can see the three levels. Once you get the three levels in, then you can work the haircut from one side to the other right you can work all the way around the head or you can work from one side to the other um, I actually did a, a barber uh, I went to the barber school today and spoke to some barbers and they was asking me a couple questions and I was telling them that they need a system so I was explaining this system to them so I decided to do this haircut and explain the system here to where if somebody needed a reference they could get it right so that was my purpose so now i want to clean up that first guideline and i have no guard on my uh, adjustable i just have my uh, adjustable open all the way and i gradually close it slowly until i remove the bottom guideline next after i start removing the bottom i want to come through and remove the middle so now i have my one guard because I actually used a half guard, which is a zero guard for the for the gamma alpha uh, for the gamma and style crest. But um, after that, I used the one guard to remove that that middle guideline. So you see me doing that. I'm working the corners of my blade, and I'm just working everything out and trying to make it smooth. Now this is a longer process for me to do it, but it's an easy process to make sure you get a consistent haircut and to learn the basics of doing a, a mid fade drop fade ball fade whatever type of fade um, 
there is, right? It's steps. It's normally steps. It's normally the same thing all the time. So it's just different starting points. Haircut is the same no matter what, right? If I'm doing a taper, if I'm doing a ball fade, drop fade, like I said, all of those type of things, high taper, mid taper, low taper, they just have different starting points. But your approach to the haircut and the system that you use is the exact same, right? If, if that makes sense to you, right? If, it, if for, for my barbers that's been in the game, it kind of makes sense. I might be connecting some dots for you. If you're a new beginner, this is a video for you to learn from, right? So after I did that, I cleaned up the top part, the highest guideline that I set. I came back with the one and a half and cleaned that up also. Then after that, we came back with our one guard down to our high guard to no guard. That's how we work the fade, right? We use the corner of the blades. And all we doing it right now, I'm picking and choosing my spots. I'm trying to make it super smooth. I want everything to be buttery blend, right? And that's what we're going to have at the end. I'm just showing you how to diligently work yourself, work your system. Do not stray away from your system. If you keep your system, you will get the results. Sometimes you have to go back and repeat the steps, right? Sometimes you have to repeat the same step a little extra, but you don't deviate from the plan, right? The system, the steps, you don't. I'm still using the corner of the blade. Now I'm down to no guard. So now I'm really cleaning up, cleaning up. And you can see that fade, it's starting to get blurry, 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 right? buttery blend blurry that's what we want right and you see how long i'm working it this is actual time right here like i didn't speed it up or nothing this is me actually doing the cut in real time right and i did that for a purpose on this side because i don't want to make this video long i want you to understand the steps and i want you to understand how to get the look that you want right so i'm focused on one side a lot because i want you to understand how it looks, what you're supposed to be doing is not like you need to be in a rush. You can really take your time and get the look you want, right? Just keep working and working and working it. Once you learn this step and you know it fluently, then your haircut time will speed up, right? I still can do this haircut and without doing it on camera. I can do this haircut with the beard, 30 minutes, 35 max with enhancements line up everything right that's because i know this system i know what to do i know how to hit it i know what to do boom 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 we done right speed comes with repetition so don't be so big on speed because it'll naturally come because that's because you practice over and over and over again now Y'all let me know is this, down in the comments. Is this just blend? Is it buttery or what? Somebody gonna say, oh man, it's choppy just to be saying some stuff, man. People just say stuff. Well, it's cool. I like to read the comments. I just, I laugh at this stuff, really. You know what I mean? But hey, let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the, about the haircut. Now, as I said, I just wanted to show y'all this side. I'm gonna jump into the lineup. I will show you the full haircut, how it came out and everything, but I wanted y'all to focus on these steps and watch exactly what I'm doing here. So uh, now we're about to jump into the lineup. I'll do a little bit of the beard too, and then we'll end the video. And right here on the beard, I'm just taking that same adjustable. I got it open and I'm barely grazing it because I don't want to have to pick up guards and do all that stuff. I want to be able to blend, use less amount, use the most of my time and use the most out of my get the most out of my clipper at the time right these are other things you can do to speed your time up as well you know what i mean just learning how to use one tool in your hand at a time now to make it extra clean we're gonna come back with our trimmer and then clean that up Okay, so now let's jump into the lineup, right? So you see this lineup, we, it's kind of challenging a little bit, but we're going to get it together. We're not going to trip with it. Um, I wanted to see, I got that Mr. Eyeliner Detailing Miss. I got to like 
I'm getting low on my bottle, so if you don't have a bottle, make sure you get a bottle. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get it from, right? So we want to start our guideline from the middle, right, from, for the most part. You see what I'm doing right here? Just making my line straight across, going across, trying not to push it back. It's times on a haircut where you may have to push it back a little bit. That's okay. In this case, we do just a little bit, but it's not very noticeable, and it still looks natural right boom look at that that gold blade on that one hitter quitter right i'm telling y'all that this blade is the truth i'm not even just hyping it because i'm sponsored by them or you know anything like that or an ambassador for them i the blade don't get hot fast at all i'm not saying it'll never get hot but me doing a haircut it never gets hot right it grabs the hair really well I don't even have my completely zero gap if you pay attention to how I'm hitting the line and stuff like that I don't like my trimmers completely zero gap I like to be able to use my trimmers on anybody that's sitting in the chair if it's a kid uh, somebody with sensitive skin whatever I like to be able to use my trimmers on anybody right and you see they still hit so it's all technique it's nothing to do with um you know which clipper you use or anything like that you do have things that help make the lineup crispy like my detailing miss but even though you have that you still have to have a technique right so you see that i'm still making sharp lines crisp lines you need a good blade to help you do things right to, to make your technique pop out. Make it do what it do, right? And that's what I'm doing with this. So you see, look at this. The, the blend is buttery. The blend is blurry, right? The beard is crispy. We haven't even put no enhancements on this thing. Once I put the enhancements on it, boom. We in the game, coach. You know what I'm saying? But look, I want y'all to pay attention. That blade is hitting. Everything's good. Like I said, if you want to get the blade, We'll leave, I'll leave the discount code in the description box. So now we're about to put enhancement. This is his natural lineup, right? Like I said, it still came out crispy, everything good. You see what I mean? So it's not that he necessarily needs it, but it will make the haircut look that much better. So right here, I'm using uh, one of these cards. Uh, one of my barbers have this card. So I'm using this card to make it even more. It's going to help, right? It's going to help make whatever lines that you already made stand out that much more right boom it's gonna be exact exact where you put the line we're not making a line with a new line with enhancements we're just enhancing the line that we already made you see that so the line the lineup is starting to look extra crispy right and on this right side of the screen is where we're really focusing on because that's where it was thin at. that's where you notice the difference at on the other side of the screen so all we doing the same thing that we did on the other side boom we're gonna do it make sure uh we try to make it look as natural as possible like i'm doing right here want to come back hit it again boom make it natural as possible again right this is the side right so i had to pay put a little bit more effort into this side but it came out good you see it right there boom i'm still trying to get it it's looking nice matching the beard everything now, once we get all the enhancements on, we just want to come back and sharpen anything. You see that on the right side of the screen? I kind of just want to tap that, make it look a little sharper. I feel like it's just a little bit off. So I'll eventually make my way over on that side like I just did. But uh, the right on the right side of the screen, we're just trying to perfect it because now 
everything is set, everything is locked in place. So uh, this side of his head was just a little bit different for me. It wasn't as flat or round on this side as it was on the other side. So this is why I take my time with my lineups. Uh, I try to make them as close to uh, straight and perfect as possible. You know, a lot of times I'm able to do it. Sometimes it might take me a few uh, minutes to actually get it the way I want it to look. You know what I mean? He might be happy with it, but it's a way that I want it to look that really matters, right? Then after that, we just come through and do a little bit more detailing. You know what I mean? I'll probably, you know, finish the haircut off, uh, hit it with a few more uh, enhancements on the beard or whatever. But this is basically the haircut. So right here, we got the mid fade. So this is it. This is the end of the haircut. I'll show you the back, how it came out and everything like that. But uh, yeah, uh, that's the end of the video. And if you don't, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.